you might have noticed some slight chirping in the background of my last video. Just a little bit. I needed quite a lot of those crickets as feeders, but not anymore. However, there are some left and uh, let's silence them and put them to good use. It must have been decades ago since I last fed a Venus flytrap. I was a little kid back then. But this is a special occasion. And um, feeding a live insect to a Venus flytrap is not unnecessary cruelty because the continued movement of the insect provides a stimulus for the trap to entirely seal shut. I told you the names of the Venus flytrap varieties I have in my last video, but my personal choice of name would be Leica, Triffid, and Audrey 2. I'm a little bit surprised that the seeds I sought out in the last video uh, have already germinated. I uh, thought they need a longer period of colder temperatures to stratify and to be um, able to germinate. But that's nice and I think I will um, sort out the seeds of um, all red, I mean uh, Leica, as well. In line with the theme of this video, I will use one of those cricket boxes to sort out the Venus flytrap seeds. And I will co op these little air holes on this side as watering holes, and I think it will work out just fine. And um, I have quite a lot of them laying around. Yeah. J19 Z7. I think they get it now. You can stop. I will save these seeds for later and maybe do a proper stratification with them. Now it's time to feed my regal jumping spiders. Oh, come on, you guys ate crickets previously. Hmm. I don't have any other insectivores that could finish off these crickets. What do I do?
Releasing them into the wild is out of the question. They have established themselves around here, at least in warmer places, and have gone native, so to speak. However, many people consider them as pests, and therefore releasing them would be frowned upon. Ah, I know, there's another omnivore, at least, that would certainly um, eat those crickets if they are prepared the right way. Don't forget to remove those prickly legs! I also have some of those cute little bulblets of this onion variety. I'm using olive oil. A little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of coarse salt, Bon appétit! Chérie? Just a little bit. Hold on. Hey, J1977, wanna be guinea pig in an experiment? Uh, I mean, have a free meal?